New conversation. Hello, Miriam. How are you today? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right, and you? Did you go to class this morning? Yes, I did. It was boring as usual. Hey, Michael, would you like to have lunch together? Sure. Where do you want to go? I have a lot of homework to do tonight. Let's study together in the library. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Not really. Maybe we'll watch a movie. I'm considering joining a club on campus. This sounds like a great idea. Haven't you met our new teacher yet? No, not yet. Is he nice? I need to get some food after class. Can I come with you? I need a few things too. Have you seen the new coffee shop downtown? Yes, I heard it's really good. Let's check it out. What's your trade, Mary? I specialize in psychology. All right, and you? I'm having trouble in math class. Don't worry, I can help you study for the next exam. Do you like living on campus? Yes, it's convenient, but the dorms are small. I'm going home for the holidays. That sounds good. I will stay on campus. Let's go to the gym together tomorrow. Of course, I need to start working more. Have you been to the art museum in the city center? Not yet, but I would love to go sometime. New conversation. Hello, Miriam. How are you today? I'm fine, Michael. Thanks for asking. All right, and you? I am also good. Therefore, we need to talk about the issue in the software project. Yes, I noticed a problem with the login page. Really? What does the problem look like? The login button sometimes doesn't work. This is not good. We must fix it as soon as possible. I agree. It affects the user experience. Any ideas on what could be causing this? I think it might be a coding error. Okay, let's explore this. Can you show me the code? Cut it here. Hmm. I see a syntax error here. Oh my fault. I will fix it right away. Great. Let's run some tests after we fix the problem. Yes, we should definitely test it thoroughly. If everything looks good, we can deploy the update. Looks like a plan, Michael. Thanks for catching this thread, Mary. It's okay, Michael. Teamwork makes dreams come true. Definitely. Let's work this out together. New conversation. Hello, Mary. How are you? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. Did you finish your history lesson homework? No, not yet. I couldn't find the book. No problem. I have an extra copy. I can lend it to you. Oh, that would be great. Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. We can work together later if you want. Seems like a good idea. What time does it work for you? How would you like to be in the library at 1500? Perfect. See you there then. See you, Mary. New conversation. Hello, Mary. How are you? I am good, thanks. How are you? I am also good. How was work today? I was very busy but okay. How was your day? Mine went well too. The weather is beautiful so I enjoyed it. Yes, the weather is great. What are you planning to do on the weekend? I don't have a plan yet. What will you do? I'm thinking of going out with my friends. Sounds fun. Which friends will you meet? I'm meeting with Lisa and Jason. Great. I haven't seen them for a long time. Yes, it will be nice to get together. Looks like the bus is late, right? Yes, it looks like that. Here it comes. It's like the bus is full. Finding a place can be difficult. Here is an empty place. 
Let's sit now. Okay, we're sitting right now. Do you like bus travel? Yes, it is a comfortable and fast journey. Definitely. I go to work by bus every day. I do like that too. I don't want to deal with traffic. You are right. The bus is more comfortable. When do you start work? I start at 9 o'clock. What are your working hours? I also start at 9. Good match. Yes, it's good to start at the same time. Are you satisfied with your current job? Yes, I am satisfied with my job. But I want a little more salary. I understand everyone wants more money. Do you think I should change jobs? Maybe you should look for other opportunities. You're right, I'll think about it. What are you doing this weekend? I'm going on a picnic with my family. How nice. How are the weather forecasts? The weather looks like it will be fine. What will you eat at the picnic? We'll bring sandwiches, fruit and cookies. It looks appetizing. I would also like to participate. Of course you can come too. Thank you. Maybe I'll join you another time. Of course you are always welcome. Here is my stop. Goodbye Mary. Have a nice day. Goodbye Michael. Good day to you too. New conversation. Hi Mary. How was your day? It was fine. Thanks. I had a few lessons today. Michael, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not really, maybe I'll study and hang out with my friends. All right, and you? Mary, can you help me with this math problem? Of course, I'd be happy to help. What problem are you stuck on? Michael, haven't you decided on your major yet? Not yet, I'm still exploring different options. All right, and you? What is your industry? Mary, would you like to have lunch together after class? Sounds great, Michael. I'm hungry. Let's go to the campus cafe. New conversation. Good morning, John. How was your weekend? Good morning, Mary. It was really beautiful. I spent time with my family. Is it yours? Oh, that's very nice. I had a busy weekend, I had so much to catch up with. Of course, life can be quite hectic at times. Did you get a chance to look at the report I sent you last week? Yes, Mary. Actually, I was going to discuss this with you. Oh great, I'd like to get some feedback. Your analysis was impressive, of course, but needs some tweaking. Which part do you think needs improvement? Financial forecasting section. You may want to consider market fluctuations. That makes sense. I'll work on that. In addition, graphical representations can be enhanced for better understanding. I appreciate your honest feedback. Do you have any other suggestions? That should be it for now. How are your other projects going? Pretty good. I'm about to meet the client this afternoon. Well, make sure you have all their requirements. Yes, I have listed them. Thanks for reminding. No problem. How about a coffee break? It would be great. Do you have time now? Yes, let's go to the break room. I needed this break. Working for hours can be tiring. I may relate. It is important that you rest your mind for a while. I totally agree, you know? I'm thinking of starting yoga. This is a good idea. Yoga is a great practice for relaxation. Yes, that's what I heard. Let me know if you need help registering for classes. I will definitely keep that in mind. How about going back to work? Sure. Let's finish today's quests. I agree. See you at the team meeting in an hour. Yes, see you there. Keep up the good work, Mary. 
Thanks, John. You too. Thanks. Have a productive day. New conversation. Hey, do you know where the school library is? Of course, on the second floor of the main building. Thanks a lot. I need to return some books. No problem. Are you new here? Yes, I just started this semester. By the way, my name is Sarah. Nice to meet you Sarah. Alex. If you have any questions about the campus, feel free to ask. Thanks Alex. I can accept this offer. I'm still trying to find my way. Don't worry, I was in the same boat when I first came here. You will understand. New conversation. Hello, I'm Michael. Pleased to meet you. Hi Michael, I'm Mary. Nice to meet you too. Are you excited for the trip? Yes it is me. I'm flying for the first time. Don't worry, it's safe. Did you pack everything? I think so too. I double checked my luggage. Great. Where are you going? I'm going to New York for a business meeting. This sounds interesting. I am visiting my friends there. Have you been to New York before? Yes, several times. Wonderful city. I can't wait to explore. Are you traveling alone for the first time? Yes, I usually travel with my family. You will be fine. Flight attendants are helpful. Thank you, that's reassuring. How long is your flight? About a four-hour flight. This is not so bad. Bring a book or watch a movie. I packed my Kindle so I have a lot to read. Smart choice. I brought my tablet too. Do you have travel tips? Don't get dehydrated and try to sleep on the plane. I will keep it in mind. Oh, here comes the flight attendant. Hello, can we have some water please? Thank you. So Michael, what do you do for a living? I am a software developer. All right, and you? I work in the marketing department of a technology company. Very cool. We have similar interests. Yes, technology is fascinating. It's time to fasten our seat belts. Plane is leaving. Here we go. I hope it will be a smooth flight. Don't worry, we are in good hands. Driving pleasure. New conversation. Hello Mary. How are you? I'm fine like that, thanks. And you? What lessons do you have today? I have English and math class in the morning. Do you like English lesson? Yes, it's interesting. All right, and you? Michael, have you met our new professor? No, not yet. Is he nice? Mary, let's have lunch after class. Sounds great. I'm hungry. Michael, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not exactly. Maybe I can relax a little. Mary, would you like to study for the exam together? Yes, let's do it. It will be useful. Michael, where are you originally from? I'm from California. All right, and you? Mary, what's your major? I specialize in psychology. All right, and you? Michael, have you been to the campus library? No, I did not. Is it big? Mary, can you help me with this math problem? Of course I will do my best. Michael, let's go to the student center for coffee. I'd love to. Coffee sounds good. Mary, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother. All right, and you? Michael. Have you seen that new movie? Not yet, but I want to. Is it good? Mary, what do you do in your free time? I like to read books and listen to music. Michael, let's join the study group. That sounds good. It will help us. Mary, can you recommend a good restaurant? Of course there is a nice Italian restaurant in the city center.
Michael, what is your favorite subject? I really enjoy history. Mary, are you going home for the holidays? Yes, I'm going to visit my family in New York. Michael, do you do any sports? I'm playing football with some of my friends. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. How are you today? I am good, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. I slept like a baby. That's great to hear. What would you like for breakfast? Let me have some cereal, please. Okay, I'll get it for you. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Black coffee, no sugar. I understand. Did you watch the news yesterday? No, I missed it. What happened? A big fire broke out in the city center. This is terrible. Yes, it was. Many people lost their homes. I feel sorry for them. Me too. We should help if we can. Definitely. Here's your cereal and coffee. Thanks again. You're welcome. Enjoy your breakfast. I will do it. What are your plans for today? I have to go to work at 10 o'clock. What time is it? 8. You have some time left. Yes, I do. I'll help with the dishes. You are very kind. Teamwork makes dreams come true. Actually, are you ready for work? Almost I just need to get my bag. Don't forget your lunch. Thanks for packing it for me. No problem. Have a nice day. You too, Michael. See you tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Goodbye for now. Bye. Hello, Mary. How was your day? Hi, Michael. It was busy but fine. That's great to hear. How was your day? It was true. I have had many meetings. Meetings can be tiring. Yes, they can. What's for dinner tonight? I was thinking of making pasta. Sounds delicious. I'll start cooking soon. Can I help with anything? You can also set the table if you want. Of course I can do that. Thanks, Mary. You're welcome. Dinner has been served. This place smells amazing. I'm glad you think so. Let's eat. Enjoy your meal. This pasta is great. I am glad you like it. Did you add some herbs in it? Yes, I added basil and thyme. It gives a good taste. I learned this from my grandmother. He must be a great cook. He. We should invite him sometime. That sounds good. I will call him tomorrow. Thanks, Mary. No problem. Do you want some dessert? I'm so full right now. Maybe later. Definitely. How was your weekend, Mary? It was comforting. I watched a film. That sounds good. What about you? I went for a walk with some friends. How was the walk? It was challenging but fun. I'm not much a hiker. This is not for everyone. I prefer a quiet day at home. This is fine. What are our plans for the evening? We can watch movies together. It looks like a plan. Which type do you prefer? I like romantic comedies. I can find one for us. Great. I'll make popcorn too. You are thinking of everything. I'm just trying to make it special. You are sweet. I will do my best. The film was very funny. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for the popcorn too. Anytime. What time is it? It's getting late, around 11 o'clock. I should get some sleep. I will escort you to your room. This is very polite behavior. I'm just looking for you. Good night, Michael. Good night, Mary. Michael, would you pass me the salt? Of course you are. Thanks. 
You're welcome. Michael, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not really, I was thinking of calming down. That sounds good. Maybe we can go for a walk in the park. This is a good idea. I need some fresh air. Perfect. Let's plan for Saturday afternoon. It looks like a plan. What time should we meet? How about 2 in the afternoon? 2 p.m. works for me. See you later. See you on Saturday. Mary, have you ever been to the new cafe downtown? No, I did not. Is it a good thing? I heard it's really beautiful. Would you like to try it with me this weekend? This seems like a fun idea, Michael. What day and time were you thinking of? How about around 3 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon? It works for me at 3 p.m. on a Sunday. I'm looking forward to this. Great. It's a date. Michael, I have exciting news to share. What happened Mary? I got promoted at work today. Wow. That's great news. Congratulations Mary. Thank you very much Michael. I am really happy with that. You worked hard for this and you deserve it. I appreciate your support, Michael. Let's celebrate this weekend. Dinner is on me. Sounds great, Michael. I can't wait. Mary, do you have any plans for summer vacation? Not yet, Michael. I'm still deciding where to go. How about a beach trip? We can relax and sunbathe. This sounds very tempting. Which beach are you considering? There's a very nice one about four hours away. It's called Seaside Beach. Then Seaside Beach is it. Let's plan for July. It's July. I will start looking for a place to stay. Thanks Michael. This will be a great vacation. I can't wait to go to the beach with you, Mary. Michael, it's been a long time since I went to the museum. How about a visit this weekend? That's a great idea, Mary. I love art and history. Wonderful. We can go on Saturday morning. The museum opens at 10 a.m. It looks like a plan. I'll pick you up at 9 in the morning. Perfect. I will be ready. I look forward to exploring the museum with you. It will be an educational and fun day, Michael. Mary, have you ever tried to cook Italian food? No, I haven't, but I would love to learn. How about an Italian cooking night this weekend? Seems like a fun idea. What Italian dish should we cook? Let's make homemade pizza. It's easy and delicious. Then this is homemade pizza. When should I come? How about 1800 on Saturday? 1800 works for me. I'll bring some wine. Great. It's going to be a delicious evening, Mary. I can't wait to cook and enjoy pizza with you, Michael. Mary, do you have any plans for the long weekend? Not yet. Michael, do you have any suggestions? How about a day trip to the mountains for some hiking and fresh air? Seems like a great idea. When should we go? The long weekend starts on Friday. We can go on Saturday morning. Saturday morning it is. I will prepare a picnic. It will be an unforgettable day, Mary. I'm excited to explore the mountains with you, Michael. Mary, what kind of music do you like? I enjoy listening to all kinds of music, from pop to classical. That's great to hear. How about going to the concert this weekend? I would love that, Michael. Who is performing? A jazz band plays on Saturday night. Interested? I've always wanted to attend a jazz concert. Count me too. Wonderful. I'll buy the tickets and we can have dinner before the concert. It's going to be a great evening, Michael.
I can't wait to enjoy great music with you, Mary. Michael, what do you like to do on a rainy day? I enjoy reading a good book or watching a movie at home. It sounds comfortable. How about we have a movie marathon this weekend? I'm ready for it, Mary. What type of movies do you prefer? How about a mix of comedy and suspense? It looks like a plan. I'll bring some snacks. It's going to be a relaxing day, Michael. I'm looking forward to our movie marathon, Mary. Michael, do you like outdoor activities? Yes, I do. I enjoy walking and cycling. Great. Let's go on a bike tour this weekend. I haven't ridden a bike for a while. Where should we go? There is a beautiful path by the river. We can start from there. Looks like a regenerative plan, Mary. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 10 o'clock on Sunday. Sunday morning at 10. I will bring my bike. It will be a fun journey, Michael. I'm excited to hit the road with you, Mary. Michael, have you ever been to the zoo in our city? No, I haven't been, but I would love to go. How about visiting the zoo this weekend? This seems like a great idea, Mary. What day should we go? Saturday works for me. Weather looks good. Saturday it is. I'll get the tickets. I can't wait to see all the animals with you, Michael. It's going to be an exciting day, Mary. Michael, do you enjoy cooking together? I want Mary. This is very funny. How would you like to try making sushi this weekend? Sushi sounds delicious. I've never done it before. It's not very difficult and I can show you the basics. This looks like a plan. When should I come? How about 1700 on Saturday? 5 p.m. works for me. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a sushi-making adventure, Michael. I can't wait to have some sushi with you, Mary. Michael, do you like going to the theater? Yes, I do. I enjoy live performances. How about watching a play this weekend? This seems like a great idea, Mary. What is the game about? It's a classic comedy and I've heard it's really funny. Comedy sounds great. What time does the play start? The game starts at 1900 on Saturday. 7 p.m. works for me. I will book the tickets. It's going to be a fun evening, Michael. I'm excited to watch the play with you, Mary. Michael, how about going on a picnic this weekend? Picnic sounds good, Mary. Where should we go? There is a beautiful park with a lake nearby. Perfect for picnic. Looks like a great place. What day should we go? Around 1 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon should be perfect. Sunday at 1300. I'll make some sandwiches. It's going to be a relaxing day at the park, Michael. I'm looking forward to our picnic, Mary. Michael, have you ever been to an art gallery? Yes, I've been to a few. I appreciate the art. How about visiting the art gallery in the city center this weekend? That's a great idea, Mary. What day should we go? Perfect Saturday morning. The gallery opens at 10 a.m. Saturday at 10 a.m. I look forward to seeing some art with you. It's going to be an inspiring morning, Michael. I look forward to exploring the art gallery with you, Mary. Michael, do you like going to live music concerts? Yes, I do. Live music is always a great experience. How about going to a rock concert this weekend? A rock concert sounds exciting, Mary. Who is performing? 
A local band plays on Saturday night. It should be fun. Saturday night it is. I'll get the tickets. It's going to be an unforgettable night, Michael. I can't wait to have fun with you, Mary. Michael, have you ever tried paddleboarding? No, I didn't, but it looks like fun. How would you like to try it at the lake this weekend? Paddleboarding sounds adventurous, Mary. When should we go? Let's meet at the lake around 11 o'clock on Sunday. Sunday at 11 a.m. I'm excited to try paddleboarding. It's going to be a great day on the water, Michael. I look forward to paddleboarding with you, Mary. Michael, do you enjoy cooking international cuisine? Yes, I do. It's always exciting to try new dishes. How about making Thai curry this weekend? Thai curry sounds delicious, Mary. I've never done it before. It's not very difficult and I can show you the recipe. This looks like a plan. When should I come? How about 1800 on Saturday? 1800 works for me. I can't wait to try the Thai curry. It's going to be a delicious evening, Michael. I can't wait to cook with you and enjoy Thai curry, Mary. Michael, have you ever been to a comedy show? Yes, I have. I love a good laugh. How about going to a comedy club this weekend? Comedy club sounds great, Mary. Who is performing? A famous comedian takes the stage on Saturday night. It must be so funny. Saturday night it is. I'll get the tickets. It's going to be a night of laughter, Michael. I can't wait to enjoy some comedy with you, Mary. Michael, do you like to visit historical places? Yes, I do. I find history fascinating. How about going to the historical museum this weekend? That's a great idea, Mary. What day should we go? Perfect on a Saturday afternoon. The museum has amazing exhibits. It's Saturday afternoon. I will be ready. It will be an educational and interesting visit, Michael. I look forward to exploring history with you, Mary. Michael, have you ever tried paddleboarding? No, I didn't, but it looks like fun. How would you like to try it at the lake this weekend? Paddleboarding sounds adventurous, Mary. When should we go? Let's meet at the lake around 11 o'clock on Sunday. Sunday at 11 a.m. I'm excited to try paddleboarding. It's going to be a great day on the water, Michael. I look forward to paddleboarding with you, Mary. Michael, do you enjoy cooking international cuisine? Yes, I do. It's always exciting to try new dishes. How about making Thai curry this weekend? Thai curry sounds delicious, Mary. I've never done it before. It's not very difficult and I can show you the recipe. This looks like a plan. When should I come? How about 1800 on Saturday? 1800 works for me. I can't wait to try the Thai curry. It's going to be a delicious evening, Michael. I can't wait to cook with you and enjoy Thai curry, Mary. Michael, have you ever been to a comedy show? Yes, I have. I love a good laugh. How about going to a comedy club this weekend? Comedy club sounds great, Mary. Who is performing? A famous comedian takes the stage on Saturday night. It must be so funny. Saturday night it is. I'll get the tickets. It's going to be a night of laughter, Michael. I can't wait to enjoy some comedy with you, Mary. Michael, do you like to visit historical places? Yes, I do. I find history fascinating. How about going to the historical museum this weekend?
That's a great idea, Mary. What day should we go? Perfect on a Saturday afternoon. The museum has amazing exhibits. It's Saturday afternoon. I will be ready. It will be an educational and interesting visit, Michael. I look forward to exploring history with you, Mary. Michael, have you ever tried paddleboarding? No, I didn't, but it looks like fun. How would you like to try it at the lake this weekend? Paddleboarding sounds adventurous, Mary. When should we go? Let's meet at the lake around 11 o'clock on Sunday. Sunday at 11 a.m. I'm excited to try paddleboarding. It's going to be a great day on the water, Michael. I look forward to paddleboarding with you, Mary. Michael, do you enjoy cooking international cuisine? Yes, I do. It's always exciting to try new dishes. How about making Thai curry this weekend? Thai curry sounds delicious, Mary. I've never done it before. It's not very difficult and I can show you the recipe. This looks like a plan. When should I come? How about 1800 on Saturday? 1800 works for me. I can't wait to try the Thai curry. It's going to be a delicious evening, Michael. I can't wait to cook with you and enjoy Thai curry, Mary. Michael, have you ever been to a comedy show? Yes, I have. I love a good laugh. How about going to a comedy club this weekend? Comedy club sounds great, Mary. Who is performing? A famous comedian takes the stage on Saturday night. It must be so funny. Saturday night it is. I'll get the tickets. It's going to be a night of laughter, Michael. I can't wait to enjoy some comedy with you, Mary. Michael, do you like to visit historical places? Yes I do. I find history fascinating. How about going to the historical museum this weekend? That's a great idea, Mary. What day should we go? Perfect on a Saturday afternoon. The museum has amazing exhibits. It's Saturday afternoon. I will be ready. It will be an educational and interesting visit, Michael. I look forward to exploring history with you, Mary. Michael, have you ever tried paddleboarding? No, I didn't, but it looks like fun. How would you like to try it at the lake this weekend? Paddleboarding sounds adventurous, Mary. When should we go? Let's meet at the lake around 11 o'clock on Sunday. Sunday at 11 a.m. I'm excited to try paddleboarding. It's going to be a great day on the water, Michael. I look forward to paddleboarding with you, Mary. Michael, do you enjoy cooking international cuisine? Yes, I do. It's always exciting to try new dishes. How about making Thai curry this weekend? Thai curry sounds delicious, Mary. I've never done it before. It's not very difficult and I can show you the recipe. This looks like a plan. When should I come? How about 1800 on Saturday? 1800 works for me. I can't wait to try the Thai curry. It's going to be a delicious evening, Michael. I can't wait to cook with you and enjoy Thai curry, Mary. Michael, have you ever been to a comedy show? Yes, I have. I love a good laugh. How about going to a comedy club this weekend? Comedy club sounds great, Mary. Who is performing? A famous comedian takes the stage on Saturday night. It must be so funny. Saturday night it is. I'll get the tickets. It's going to be a night of laughter, Michael. I can't wait to enjoy some comedy with you, Mary. Michael, do you like to visit historical places? Yes I do. 
I find history fascinating. How about going to the historical museum this weekend? That's a great idea, Mary. What day should we go? Perfect on a Saturday afternoon. The museum has amazing exhibits. It's Saturday afternoon. I will be ready. It will be an educational and interesting visit, Michael. I look forward to exploring history with you, Mary. Michael was a great weekend full of fun activities. Yes, it did, Mary. I had a great time with you. Me too, Michael. Let's plan more adventures together. Definitely, Mary. I'm looking forward to this. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How are you today? Good morning, Michael. I am good, thanks. And you? I'm fine like that, thanks. Let's start the project update, shall we? Sure. Let's dive into the subject. First of all, I would like to talk about our progress in coding tasks. Okay, go on. We have completed about 70% of the coding. It goes pretty smoothly. This is great news. Any problems so far? We encountered a few bugs, but the team fixed them right away. Excellent teamwork, Michael. Yes, our developers are doing a great job. Now let's talk about the timeline. So when can we expect the first prototype? I believe we will have it ready for testing by the end of next week. That's great, Michael. Our customer will be satisfied. Speaking of the client, they requested a few changes. Have you reviewed these? Yes I did. They look reasonable. We can accommodate these changes. Excellent. I'll pass this on to the team. Now let's talk about the budget. Are we staying within our budget so far? Yes, we are, but we need to closely monitor forward-looking expenditures. I agree, financial discipline is very important. Mary, do you think we should do a mid-project review with the client? I think this is a good idea. We'll keep them updated and included. Great. I will schedule that meeting and prepare the presentation. Thanks Michael. Is there anything else we should be covering today? No, I guess that covers everything for now. Thanks for your contribution, Mary. You're welcome, Michael. Let's keep up the good work. New conversation. Hello Mary. How was your day? Hello John. It was a pretty good day. All right, and you? Okay, it was a little busy. How is studying going? They are doing well. I had my economics exam today. But I think it went pretty well. What about you? I had a presentation in my marketing class. It was nerve-wracking. Oh, I'm sure you did a great job. You always succeed in marketing. Thank you, Sarah. This means a lot. How is your economy? Are you having fun? Yes, I do. Especially the part about market and consumer behavior. And you know, it's really important to understand these concepts in today's world. You're right, understanding economics is beneficial in many ways. Yes, it is really like that. By the way, are you going to the football game this weekend? Yes I am, I already bought my ticket. Are you coming? Yes, I thought it would be fun. I'm meeting with Emily before the game. Do you want to join us? I would love to, thank you for your invitation. New conversation. Hello, my name is Amit. What is your name? Hello Amit. My name is Elif. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade. Are you in second grade too? Yes, I'm in second grade too. Which lesson do you like the most? I love math. Which lesson do you like the most? I love Turkish very much. 
I love reading books. I also like to read books. We can read together. Great idea, Amit. We're having a lot of fun reading it. Yes, it will happen. Anyway, see you tomorrow at school. See you at school tomorrow, Amit. Have a nice day. New conversation. Hello, Mary. How are you today? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. Are you ready for the meeting? Yes, I prepared the presentation. Great. Let's start then. First, let's review the project objectives. Sure, go ahead. Our main goal is to improve the user experience. This is important. How can we do this? We can simplify the user interface. Good idea. What else? We should also fix bug issues. Acceptance. Anything else on the agenda? Yes, we need to discuss the timeline. Let's set exact dates. How about completing it by next month? Sounds reasonable. Let's aim for that. We also need to allocate resources. True, we will need more developers. I will start recruiting new team members. Thanks, Mary. You are always very proactive. Teamwork is very important for success. We definitely make a great team. Shall we talk about the budget now? Yes, let's allocate resources to this project. I will prepare a detailed budget proposal. Make sure it's affordable. I will keep it in mind. Have you thought about the technical aspects? Yes, we need to upgrade our servers. Let's get IT involved. I will contact them after the meeting. Thanks, Mary. Do you have anything else in mind? We should also prioritize features. Which are the most critical? User registration and data security. These are actually very important. Is there anything you want to add? Let's focus on a mobile friendly design. I get it, we'll make it sensitive. How about marketing the product? We can discuss this later. Good point, let's stick to the plan. I will create a project timeline. Add milestones and tasks. It will help us stay organized. What is our estimated budget? I will calculate according to our plan. Keep it within a reasonable range. Of course, we don't want to spend too much. What about our competitors? We need to analyze their strategy. I'll assign someone to do this. Excellent. That will give us the idea. Let's make a checklist for the team. I will create one and share it. Communication is important here. I'll make sure everyone stays up to date. This is crucial to the success of the project. Then we are on the same page. Let's also consider the risks. I will identify potential difficulties. We must have a backup plan. I agree, we will be well prepared. Time management is essential. I will highlight this to the team. How is customer feedback? We must collect regularly. It helps us make improvements. Our goal is customer satisfaction. Also, let's have regular meetings. Weekly updates sound good? Yes, that's a good frequency. I will program them accordingly. Any other concerns, Mary? We must ensure data privacy. Let's definitely prioritize. Compliance is a must. We will follow all the rules. Our legal team can help with this. Let's include them right away. I will inform them after the meeting. Thanks for taking care of it. It's all part of the job. You are doing a great job. Thank you, Michael. Team effort. Teamwork makes dreams come true. We will make this project a success. 
Together we can achieve anything. Let's get our A game, Michael. I am fully present, Mary. Let's do this. That's the spirit. Let's work. It's time to turn our plans into reality. I will send the meeting minutes. Great, it will help everyone stay on track. Anything else before I finish? No, I think we've told them all. Okay, let's postpone the meeting then. Thanks for your dedication, Mary. And thank you Michael. Have a nice day. New conversation. Good morning Mary. Good morning Michael. How are you today? I'm fine like that, thanks. And you? I am also good. What's for breakfast? I made some scrambled eggs and toast. It sounds delicious. Get yourself some coffee. Thanks, I can have a glass. Did you sleep well last night? Not really, I was having trouble falling asleep. Maybe you should try some herbal tea before bed. That sounds good. I'll try tonight. How was work yesterday? I was busy but managed to finish everything. You always work hard. Well, he pays the bills. Speaking of bills, don't forget to pay the rent this week. I will not forget. Did you hear that Sarah is engaged? Yes, I saw it on Facebook. They make a very sweet couple. Yes like that. What are your plans for the weekend? I'm thinking of going for a walk on Saturday. Sounds fun. Can I join you? The more, of course, the merrier. Great. I'll bring some snacks. It looks like a plan. By the way, have you been playing with your guitar lately? Not as much as I want. I was busy with work. You should devote some time to this. Music is relaxing. You are right. I will take it again. Dinner was delicious, Michael. Thanks Mary. I'm glad you liked it. What's for dessert? I made chocolate chip cookies. Very good. Can I get one? Help yourself. These are amazing. Did you use a special recipe? One of my grandma's classics. So it's a family secret? You can say so. Michael, do you remember your trip to the beach last summer? Of course I will never forget. It was a great time. We should plan another trip soon. I would love it. Where should we go next? How about a trip to the mountains? Sounds adventurous. Let us do it. So it's a date. Michael, do you follow the news? Not really, I was very busy. Is something important going on? Yes, a big election is approaching. Ah, I should definitely be aware of that. It is important to vote and have our voices heard. You are right Mary. I'll make sure you sign up. That's the spirit. Mary, do you remember our first date? Of course it was in that cozy little cafe. I was so nervous. Me too. But it turned out to be a great evening. I'm glad we took this chance. Me too, Michael. Mary, I have something important to ask you. What is it, Michael? Will you marry me? Oh my God, Michael. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. I am very happy, Mary. I love you very much. I love you too. We will have a beautiful life together. We really will. Michael, let's celebrate with some champagne. Looks like a plan. Cheers to our future. Cheers. Michael, when do you think we should have the wedding? How about next summer? This gives us plenty of time to plan everything. And it will be a beautiful outdoor wedding. I can't wait. Not me either. Michael, we should invite all our friends and family. Definitely, the more the merrier. It will be the wedding of the year. I have no doubt about it. Michael, 
Let's dance. Satisfaction. This is the happiest day of my life. Me too, Mary. I can't believe we're getting married. This is a dream come true. I love you more than words can express. And I love you with all my heart. Forever and always. Forever and always. Michael, let's grow old together. That's the plan, Mary. I couldn't have had it otherwise. Cheers to our love. Cheers. Mary, what is your favorite moment together? There are so many, but our first trip to Paris stands out. Oh yes. The Eiffel Tower and all those croissants. It was like a fairy tale. One day we will have to go back. Definitely, and maybe we should take our children with us. This looks like a plan. Michael, do you remember when we got our first pet? How can I forget? That little puppy stole our hearts. And we named him Max. It has brought so much happiness to our lives. I miss him. I am also Mary. He was a special part of our family. Let's visit his grave this weekend. This is a very good idea. Michael, I'm so grateful for the life you've had together. I am also Mary. I couldn't imagine my life without you. You complete me. And you complete me. Michael for us. For us, Mary. I love you more each day. And I love you more and more. New conversation. Hello Mary. How are you today? Hello Michael. I'm fine like that, thanks. Alright and you? I am also good. Are you ready for our project meeting? Yes it is me. I prepared the presentation slides. Great. Let's start by discussing our goals for this project. Sure, Michael. Our main goal is to increase sales by 10% in the next quarter. While this may seem ambitious, it can be achieved. What is our strategy? We plan to launch a new marketing campaign and offer discounts to loyal customers. Good idea. Do we have the budget for the marketing campaign? Yes, we allocated $10,000 to the campaign. This should work. Let's also focus on improving customer service. Acceptance. We will train our staff to provide better support. Great. We should meet with the team to discuss these plans in more detail. I'll set up a team meeting for tomorrow. Perfect, Mary. Thanks for your hard work. You're welcome, Michael. Let's make this project a success. New conversation. Hello. My name is Michael. Pleased to meet you. Hi Michael. I'm Mary. Same way. So where are you from, Mary? I'm from New York. Alright and you? I'm from Los Angeles. Is this your first time to Los Angeles? Yes like that. I am excited to explore the city. Flight attendant arrives with drinks. What would you like? Let me have a creamy coffee, please. Do you enjoy flying? Not exactly. I'm a little nervous during takeoff. How long is the flight to Los Angeles? It takes about five hours. It's not too bad. What is the purpose of your trip? I am visiting friends. All right, and you? Are you traveling for business or pleasure? I'm on vacation. I have to take a break from work. I see you have a book there. What are you reading? This is a mystery novel. I love to read on flights. The view from the window is magnificent, isn't it? Yes, especially when above the clouds. I forgot my headphones. Do you have an extra pair? Sorry, I don't have an extra pair. Maybe you can borrow it from the flight attendant. Oh no, I think I forgot my wallet at home. 
Don't worry, I will help you with any expenses during the journey. I can't wait to try the local food in Los Angeles. Me too. I heard there are great restaurants here. I hope our luggage arrives safely. Yes, let's hope so. Losing luggage can be a big problem. Look at that beautiful sunset outside the window. Stunning. I'm glad we have a seat by the window. I need to fill out the customs form soon. That's right, mine is ready too. However, it's a bit confusing. Do you have any plans for your first day in Los Angeles? Not yet. I'll probably get some rest and settle in. What is your favorite part of traveling? I love experiencing different cultures and meeting new people. We must share contact information. Maybe we can meet in Los Angeles. This seems like a great idea, Michael. I hope the weather will be fine in Los Angeles when we land. Yes, it needs to be sunny and warm. Perfect. New conversation. Hello Mary. Is this seat taken? No, it's free. You can sit here. Thanks. I just missed the previous bus. This is very unfortunate. Yes, I had to run to catch this. I hope you didn't miss anything important. It's just a meeting but it can be rescheduled. Then that's fine. How is your day going by the way? It was intense but nothing out of the ordinary. I understand. Do you take this bus every day? Yes, I commute to work on this. This is convenient. I use it occasionally. Cost effective for me. I should consider taking it more often. You are your property. It's also better for the environment. You are right. I will think about it. Do you have any plans for the evening? Not really, just some errands to get done. Likewise, I need to do grocery shopping. Maybe we should share the car sometime. This is a good idea. It saves money and reduces emissions. I'm glad you think so. Have you watched a good TV show lately? I started a new series on Netflix. Pretty interesting. What is this about? A crime drama set in New York. Sounds interesting. I can check. Let me know if you have and we can discuss. I will do this. Do you have any hobbies? In my spare time I enjoy painting and reading books. This is great. I used to play the guitar, but lately I can't find time. You should get it again if you can. I miss. I'll think about it. Here is my stop. It was nice to chat with you. Same here, Mary. Have a nice day. You too Michael. Be careful. Bye. Bye. New conversation. Hey, what are you planning to do this summer vacation? I haven't planned my vacation yet. What are you doing? I'm thinking of going to summer school. Really? Which course are you planning to take? I need to take an English lesson here. I need to improve my language. Great. I also want to learn something. What level are you at? I am currently at A2 level. Which course do you think I should take? A language course for A2 level may be a good option. You can practice speaking and meet new people. Good idea. Can you recommend a language school? Surely there are several good language schools here. I can give you some suggestions. Thank you. Also. What do you plan to do after graduation? I haven't decided yet, but I want to advance in my career. Maybe I'll graduate. Getting a master's degree is a great idea. In which field would you like to progress? I plan to concentrate on an area such as business management or marketing. Good luck! Finally, which city will you be in this summer?
I currently live in Boston and will spend my summer vacation here. You can have a great time in Boston. I'm also considering a few places to vacation. Let me know if you make your vacation plans. Maybe we can do something together. New conversation. Hello Mary, how is it going? Hi Michael, I'm fine, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, it was great. I hung out with some friends. All right, and you? I rested at home and watched movies. It was pretty cold. That sounds good. By the way, do you have any plans for tonight? Not exactly. What's up? There's a new cafe downtown. Wanna check it out with me? Of course gladly. What time should we meet? How about 7 p.m.? Is this suitable for you? It sounds perfect. I'll see you at 7 o'clock then. Great. See you later Michael. New conversation. Hello Mary, how are you? I am good thanks. How are you? I am also good thank you. What exercises are you planning to do today? I'm thinking of doing some cardio today. You? I'm thinking of doing weight training too. Great. Maybe we can do cardio together later. Of course with pleasure. What weight training are you doing? Today I will do back and shoulder exercises. Good choice. I'm thinking of focusing on my legs too. How much weight do you use? I currently use 10 pound dumbbells. I use the same weight. You found a good balance. Thank you. I have improved myself over time since I started this business. That's it. You have to keep going and keep going. Definitely. So which cardio workout do you prefer? I usually prefer to run on the treadmill. Sometimes I also like to ride a bike. Cycling is a great cardio workout. Yes, it is both fun and effective. When are you starting? I can start now, is it okay for you? Sure, let's get started. Great, so let's get started. New conversation. Hello John. I've finally started college. Really? Great. Which section are you studying? I am studying business management. I am very excited. Congratulations. Business is a great choice. How are the lessons going? So far everything is fine. The lessons of the first semester were quite easy. Nice to hear. What courses are you taking? In the first semester, I take introductory courses in computational mathematics, microeconomics and business. Do you enjoy business classes? Yes, business classes are one of my favorites. The marketing course is very interesting. I also studied business and marketing was my favorite. What other courses will you take? In the second semester, I will choose courses such as finance, management, business ethics. Sound is great. You seem to like college life. Yes, it is really like that. I also made new friends and exploring the campus is fun too. Great. Enjoy your college experience and good luck. Thank you John. Also how are you? I'm still working, but I'm thinking of doing a master's degree in the future. Getting a master's degree can be a great idea. What are you doing? I'm thinking of doing a master's degree in education. New conversation. How are you? Hello, thank you. I'm fine. How are you? Thanks to you too. How's it going? They are doing well. We are very busy but we manage. Here I am to get exactly what I need. What were you looking for? I needed some t-shirts and a pair of sneakers. Which brand do you prefer? 
I'm not very picky about the brand. Model and comfort are important to me. So would you like to see the new collections? Yes, why not? Here you go. Would you like to see this model? Looks good. Does this t-shirt have different colors? Yes, this model is available in both blue and gray. Can I try the gray one? Of course I will get it right away. Thank you. Where are the locker rooms? Here it is. Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. I can help if you need anything else. T-shirt is fine. Now I want to look at sneakers. Certainly. What style of sneakers are you looking for? I am looking for something comfortable and durable for daily use. What's your foot size? Number 42. Would you like to try this model? Yes, this looks good. I want to try. Here you go. Try it. They are very comfortable and also look good. I'll take these sneakers. The perfect choice. Wanna look at something else? No for now, thanks. Then we can pay. Can I pay by card? Of course you can pay by card. This is my card. Thank you. I'm getting the second one. Certainly. Your transaction is complete. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Good day to you too. We look forward to seeing you again. New conversation. Hello Mary. How are you feeling? Hi Michael. To be honest, I'm a little nervous. Don't worry, Mary. Doctors here are very good. What does the problem look like? I've had a headache for the past two days and it's getting worse and worse. That doesn't sound very good. Haven't you seen a doctor yet? Yes, this morning doctor I saw Smith. He said I might need some tests. Anyway, I hope it's nothing serious. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you Michael. Just having you here is comforting. You're welcome, Mary. We are friends and friends support each other. New conversation. Hey Mary, when do you want to go to the movies? Hmm, maybe we'll go tonight. Which movie would you like to watch? I'm thinking of watching a comedy or a romantic movie. What are you thinking? I love both, you choose. Okay, let's watch a romantic movie then. Great, which session do you prefer? Do you think a session at 20 in the morning would be good? Okay. Let's go to the 8 a.m. session. I'll get the tickets. Thank you, Michael. Shall we get some popcorn and soda? Of course not without popcorn and soda at the cinema. When are we supposed to be there? The movie will start at 8 a.m., so we need to be there at least 20 minutes before. I understand. Let's make a plan for the evening. I don't like to wait so it's better to go early. You are right. I've been waiting to see this movie for a long time. Me too. Looks like it'll be fun tonight. Yes, does it get hot for you? Definitely. I can't wait to spend time with a good movie and a great friend. That's right Michael. Thank you for inviting me tonight. You're welcome, Mary. Good thing we are friends. New conversation. Good morning Mary. Good morning Michael. How was your commute to work? It was pretty smooth, thanks. What about yours? Same way. I have room on the train for once. Good to hear. Are there any important developments regarding the project? Yes really. Greenway Corp. He approved our offer. This is great. When do we expect to start working on this? They want to kick things off next week. Next week? This is a little early. Hmm. Did they provide the necessary details and data? Yes. I received an email with all the necessary details and I will review it today. Okay. 
Make sure we fully understand all your requirements so that we can plan properly. Of course, Jane. I'll go through the email meticulously. Good morning, my baby. How is Smith's project? Any progress? Smith's project is progressing well. They like our design concept and are ready for development. Wonderful. Let me know about both projects. Definitely. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. How are you today? I am good, thanks. And you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I watched a movie. Which film did you watch? I watched a comedy called Hangover. Did you see before? No, I did not. Was it funny? Yes, it was very funny. Don't watch him. I will check it. By the way, where is our next lesson? I think it's in room 302. When does it start? It starts at 10 a.m. Do you have your textbooks with you? Yes, they are here. Did you do today's homework? No, I didn't have time last night. You should try doing this tonight. Thanks for reminding me. Are you ready for the test on Friday? I need to work more for this. Would you like to work together later? Seems like a good idea. What's your trade, Mary? I specialize in psychology. All right, and you? I'm studying computer science. What do you like most about psychology? I find the human mind fascinating. What about computer science? I enjoy solving problems and coding. Are you going to the football game on Saturday? I'm not a big fan of the sport, so I probably am not. What about you? I will be there with some friends. Do you like American food? Yes, I love burgers and fries. All right, and you? I prefer Italian food like pizza and pasta. Have you been to a good restaurant recently? I tried a new Mexican restaurant last week. It was really good. You should go sometime. I will keep it in mind. Well, it's time for class. See you later, Michael. Goodbye, Mary. Have a nice day. New conversation. Hello. My name is Michael. What is your name? Hi, Michael. My name is Mary. Is this your first time to school? Yes, my first time here. I am very excited. I was very excited at first too, but then I got used to it. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade too. How nice. We are classmates. Really? This is good news. Do you have lunch at school? Yes, my mom told me to have lunch at school. I also eat at school. Food is usually delicious. I also like to eat. What is your favorite food? I love pasta. What about you? I also like pasta, but I like chicken the most. Chicken dish is also very good. Which subject do you like most? I like the painting class the most because it is very colorful and fun. What is your favorite lesson? I also like painting class. But I like Turkish lesson the most. Turkish lesson is also very good. I especially love to listen to fairy tales. I also like to listen to fairy tales. What is your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale is, Little Red Riding Hood. So what's your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale is, Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. It's a very exciting story. Yes, I love this story too. What do you like to do in the schoolyard? I like playing ball the most all right in you. I also like to play ball but I like jump rope game the most. I've never tried skipping rope. 
Then one day I can teach you to jump rope. Really? It would be great. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. So what do you do after school? I usually do my homework at home and then play a little. I mostly do the same. Maybe we can do the homework together? This is a good idea. Then I'll see you at school tomorrow, Mary. New conversation. Hello. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine thanks. How are you? I am also good thank you. I went to the school today. Really? What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. We had math class today. Do you like math class? Yes, I love math. But our teacher is a little difficult. I understand I also started going to high school. I am in 10th grade. What courses are you taking? I take lessons in English, history, biology and music. Music lesson should be interesting. What instrument do you play? I play guitar. Do you play any instrument? Sorry, I can't play. But I love art classes. I also like art classes. I love painting. What kind of paintings do you do? I usually draw nature landscapes and portraits. Great. Maybe one day you can show me a picture of you. Sure. I'll gladly show you. Now we'll have to get back to our lessons. You're right. Let's continue our lessons. Have a nice day. Good day and good luck. New conversation. Hello Miriam. How are you today? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right and you? I am also good. Are you ready for the project meeting? Yes it is me. Did you complete your role? Almost I just need to review some numbers. Great. Let's go over the details together. Sure. The data is here. Perfect. What is the first item on the agenda? We need to discuss the budget allocation. Okay. I have some suggestions on this. Good to hear. Let's hear your ideas. First, we need to devote more resources to marketing. I agree, this is important for our promotion. We should also consider reducing travel costs. This makes sense. We can have more online meetings. Definitely. It is more cost effective. What is the next item on the list? We need to set deadlines for tasks. True, we do not want to lag behind schedule. Let's aim to finish the research by next month. Sounds reasonable. I will update the timeline. Thanks Michael. You are doing a great job. Thanks Mary. Teamwork is very important for success. Definitely. We make a great team. New conversation. Hello Mary. How are you? Hi Michael. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine too. Thank you very much. You were not at school yesterday. Why did you come? Yes, I was sick. I went to the doctor and he told me I need some rest. Get well soon, Michael. Are you feeling better today? Yes, I am much better. Thank you. When will I be able to play football again? My doctor said I could play again after a few days of rest. So let's plan to play soccer in the park for the weekend. Great idea Mary. See you this weekend. New conversation. Hello teacher. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I am also good thank you. Are you ready for today's lesson? Yes teacher, I'm ready. Great, so let's get started. Of course we can start. Now let's move on to some geometry. What is the sum, in degrees, of the interior angles of a triangle? The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Very nice, 
but what about the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral? The sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Congratulations, your mastery of geometry is very good. Thank you very much teacher. Geometry lesson over. Now we will study some literature. Which of the works of Nazim Hikmet we read yesterday? Yesterday we read the Epic of Forces. Yes that is right. What do you think about this study? This work was very impressive to me because it is the story of people who love their country and risk everything for it. A very good take. It is important to think so in literature, too. Yes, teacher. I really like Nazim Hikmet's language. Me too. Now let's move on to Turkish grammar. What kind of word is the word, running? New conversation. Good morning Mary. How are you today? Good morning Michael. I am good thanks. All right and you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. What can I bring you today? I'd like a cappuccino and a chocolate croissant, please. Of course, a cappuccino and chocolate croissant comes. Do you want this place or go? I'll take it here, please. I want to enjoy the relaxed atmosphere. Of course, please sit down. Your order will be ready in a short time. Michael prepares cappuccino and croissant. By the way, Michael, have you tried the new pastries here? Not yet. Mary, are they fine? Yes, I tried the almond Danish dish yesterday and it was delicious. Sounds tempting. I'll have to try it next time. Here's the cappuccino and chocolate croissant, Mary. Thank you Michael. Looks great. You're welcome. Enjoy. Michael, do you have any plans for the weekend? I'm thinking of going for a walk on Saturday and maybe watching a movie on Sunday. All right, and you? I plan to visit the farmer's market on Saturday and read some books on Sunday. That sounds good. We both have relaxing weekends ahead of us. Definitely. Oh, Michael, can I have the bill, please? Of course, here it is. Your total amount is $8.50. Here is a $10 bill. Save the top as a tip. Thank you very much, Mary. I appreciate it. Have a nice day. You too, Michael. Bye. Goodbye, Mary. Have a nice day. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How is everything going? Good morning, Michael. Everything is fine, thank you. All right, and you? I'm fine like that, thanks. Let's discuss the project. Do you have the latest updates? Yes, I do. I've made some progress on the front end design. That's great to hear. Can you show me what you've done so far? I will, of course, share my screen. Here is the mock up of the home page. It looks good. I like the color scheme. What about the back end? Our back end developer is working on it. They should do an update soon. Great. We have to meet our deadline. Any problems? Not at the moment, but we may need more resources for testing. Okay, I'll discuss this with the team. What about user feedback? We've received some positive feedback on our beta release. This is promising. Let's keep improving it. How is the budget? We are within the budget for now, but we have to follow closely. Acceptance. Let's set up a meeting with the QA team for testing. I'll schedule it tomorrow morning. Perfect. Thanks Mary. Keep up the good work. Thank you Michael. We will keep you informed. New conversation. Good morning Mary. How are you today? Good morning Michael. I am good thanks. All right and you? 
Mary, do you have some time? I need to talk to you about something. Of course, Michael. What's on your mind? Mary, can you help me with this report? I'm a little stuck. Of course, I would be happy to assist you. What do you need help with? Michael, the meeting is scheduled for 2 p.m. Don't forget. Thanks for the reminder, Mary. I will make sure to be there on time. Mary, I heard you're going on vacation next week. Where are you going? Yes, I'm going to Hawaii for some relaxation. I can't wait. Michael, would you please pass me the stapler? Of course you are. Mary, have you finished your client meeting presentation? Yes, I just completed it. I will send it to you for your review. Michael, did you see the new project proposal on your desk? Not yet. I'll take a look right away. Mary, do you have any suggestions to increase the productivity of our team? Yes, I think it might be useful to implement a new time management tool. Michael, let's have a coffee on our break and discuss the upcoming project. Looks like a plan, Mary. I'll meet you in the break room. New conversation. Hello, Mary. How are you in the morning? Hello, John. I am good, and you? I am also good, thank you. How was the meeting last night? The meeting went well, but there are still some issues to be resolved. I understand. Shall we discuss these issues today? Of course, this is a good idea. We can meet in the afternoon. Great. What time does he wake up in the afternoon? 2 p.m. would be fine for me. How is it for you? Worn at 2. Okay. Shall we meet in the meeting room? Yes, a meeting room would be appropriate. Also, don't forget to submit a report. You're right, I'm sending the reports now. Here are the reports. Thanks, John. Now I'm back to work. I wish you good work, Mary. Good job to you too, John. See you later. See you bye. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. How are you? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right, and you? I'm fine too, thanks for asking. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I went for a walk with some friends. This sounds fun. I got some relief at home. Sometimes a relaxing weekend is best. Definitely. Hey, do you have the notes from yesterday's lecture? Yes, I do. I can send these to you later. Thanks, this will be very helpful. No problem. Are you ready for the test on Friday? Not really, I need to work harder. If you want, we can study together. It would be great. Shall we meet at the library tomorrow? Sure. What time does it work for you? How about 3 in the afternoon? Perfect. See you then. Thanks, Mary. You are a lifesaver. You're welcome, Michael. We are in this together. New conversation. Hi, Mary. Did you do your math homework? Hi, Michael. Yes, I did my homework yesterday. I can share with you. Really? Thank you very much, Mary. I'm stuck on two questions. Of course, what questions can't you solve? Second and fifth questions. I understand in the second question. You must first solve your equations. In the fifth question, you can reach the result by using the division operation. I understand. Let me try again and see. Thank you very much. Anytime, Michael. I'm happy to help. Thank you, Maria. You've been really helpful. You're welcome, Michael. Friends should help each other.